Hello my dear family members, first of all congratulations to all of you who have just cleared the first round of Accenture and the communication assessment as well. So I hope you are preparing well for your upcoming Accenture interview. So I hope you have some strategy, you have some questions in your mind. So let's clear one by one. So today I will merge some question of today's interview experience and also I will show you all the questions which are common in Accenture AAC or AAAC role questions. Okay, interviews. Okay, so let's start with all the topics like Java, Python and like dsa and project all those related questions i'll share okay so if you want this pdf okay if you want this pdf uh, with all the questions then please join our telegram channel t.me slash ubk and now i will provide you okay after this video and please subscribe this content subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want because this motivates me to make more content okay so i hope you already have subscribed this channel and still not then please uh, if not then please subscribe okay so let's start with the first question so at first let me just say, tell you that all the questions will be based on your resume okay so you have you must prepare your resume based questions okay that means if you have given java python then dsa or let's say cyber security or let's say any like ethical hacking etc etc if you have given those then prepare all the related questions basic questions okay so i will suggest you to uh, visit the java t point website in which you will get the related interview questions or you can visit interview bit okay let's say if you have given uh, cyber security as your uh, let's say uh, as your skill so search cyber security interview questions java t point so actually from those questions only you will be asked uh, in the interview okay so uh, let's say if you are from uh, let's say electrical or core branch or if you are from CSE or CS uh, or IT branch then for both of you I'll share questions okay so just wait okay so uh, at first you have to give important to your resume okay so please go through that let's say if you have not given any uh, any skill set okay let's say if you have not given Java or Python or let's say uh, DSA or cyber security ethical lacking etc AI no if you have not given any uh, uh, skill set so you don't have to prepare is this no because in your curriculum you had let's say dsa you had uh, java you had let's say database so you have to know something about this because this was already in your uh, curriculum okay so please go through all those okay so uh, let's say uh, the first question from project will be like explain your project so first of all you will be asked like tell me about yourself okay so you have to influence your interviewer just giving a brief of about yourself okay and then you will be directly asked from project okay so let's say if you are giving your introduction and if you have mentioned a certain project okay then the interviewer will stop you and they will ask questions from project okay so you control your interviewer so that you can get the questions as according to your choice okay so then you will be asked from project so the probable questions from the project will be what was your project all about like let's uh, let's say explain your project okay and then uh, let's say uh, what are the business need what why did you made uh, ma why did you choose this project okay and let's say what wh and this is must that you will be asked what are your contributions okay and let's say uh, there are certain uh, situation based questions from project let's say if you if you, you are not able to do something so how can you approach to your team lead or if you are team lead then how can you handle some certain situations let's say one guy is not working properly so how will you handle okay so this this uh, like various situation based questions may be asked to you okay so uh, let's say uh, what are the technologies you used in your project and how long did it take to complete your part and what will be the outcome of that project how are what are the uh, future scope so etc etc please prepare okay so this pdf will be totally given to you so please join our telegram channel t.me slash you can now so the link will be given in the description box please go through that okay so i hope you did that so regardless of your stream you will be asked these questions okay so prepare these okay so uh, let's say if you have given Java as your uh, skill, 
so you must be asked these questions like one of these questions will be asked to you must okay one not only one but uh like two or three questions from this okay so apart from this you may not have to prepare anything else so please go through this like is java platform independent or if yes then how what are the definitions of these jdk jrd jvm and differences between interface abstract class and constructor in java so you know what is constructor right and the difference between double equal and equals method in java okay difference between array list link list and let's say exception handling in java okay so i'm coming to python if you have a skill set in python then wait i am giving you some questions okay use of the final keyword in java let's say uh difference between string string builder and string buffer as you know string is uh immutable in java so that's why we use string builder to make the string mutable okay so uh let's say uh various questions from uh the java let's say what is the static keyword in java and must questions R regardless of your stream regardless of your skill set regardless of your resume and the whatever you have given you must be asked questions from oops concept so prepare this like what are the classes what are the objects overloading overriding encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism okay so let's say you are asked what is class okay so you have to give the answer like this is called class okay so after giving the uh, definition of the class you have to give an example okay this is this should be real time example then you should give the proper uh, like let's say syntax okay so that the interviewer can know that you know everything about it okay let's say you are given you are asked let's say explain oops so you don't have to stop you have to give the uh, give the brief about oops and don't stop keep talking okay keep talking interviewer will stop you okay so let's say you are uh, asked oops so at first say oops uh, definition then what are the types of oops pillars of oops then uh, all the oops uh, like all the pillars definition then all the pillars sub pillar then all the differences and their definition example keep talking about those okay so prepare this so much that let's say it is coming in your interview okay so prepare accordingly so i hope you will do so if you are asked overriding then you have to know about a uh, method uh, sorry you have to know about uh, uh runtime polymorphism okay and if you are asked encapsulation then if you are asked in retains then please uh, give the definition tell about all the differences their definition and then tell about all real time example and syntaxes etc etc okay so please uh, keep it in mind okay so uh, let's go to the next part that is python so if you have given python still you will be asked uh, from oops concept so prepare that and you will be asked like let's say what are the differences between lists list and tuples and what are the decorators built in data types and let's say size of the different data types okay and then let's say what's the use of self in python then exception handling in python so if you have given java then also you will be asked from exception handling maybe like it's very important question okay and set and dictionary let's say, let's say if you have solved two codes then their expectation will be more from you okay so you can be asked like what is the lambda expression you can be asked some advanced questions right so just it is very like let's say 10 percent probability but still if you have uh, if you have knowledge about those then please again revise, revise those okay so again set, uh, set and dictionary differences and what are the set what are the dictionaries so please remember this okay so let, let's uh, go to the sql part so from sql regardless of your stream batch okay you will be asked whatever uh, like how many code you have solved it is not matter you will be asked from sql what is sql rdbms dbms different different joints okay you will be asked this question this is very important different joints okay and this is advanced question normalization so prepare this if you are looking for aac role okay and different keywords and delete and truncate difference uh, this is very common question okay so prepare Ag aggregate functions where clause primary key how to find second highest salary or how to find third highest salary from an employee table so if you are looking for aac role then please 
prepared accordingly because you can be you can be asked from scripting okay so you have to write the script okay uh so i hope you give you will give importance so let's go to the next part that is dsa so if you have given dsa as your skill set still still this is in your curriculum so you can be asked from dsa basic okay so what is the link list what is the tree data structure what is the tree uh, traversal what is the time complexity of this this what does the depth for search what are the uh, like dfs bfs etc etc okay and like what is the selection sort time complexity and what are the advantages of selection sort like what are the real time example when will you use the this sort okay so this is very important like let's say you will be given a question they will say let's say uh, selection sort okay yeah or merge sort so you will be asked like uh, given real time example where we will you where we will use okay and list of application of tree data structure then we, which are the data structure used in bfs and dfs algorithm link list versus array differences oh again this is a very important question so please prepare okay and let's say if if you are if you have if you have solved one code then you don't have to know about tree data structure tree traversal this this okay just know about sorting algorithms and link list arrays etc okay so uh, the last uh, and last part of this video will be extra questions that is if you are from the core branch okay then you must be asked these questions like say why are you switching to it so prepare this okay and give a very good and attract attractive answer okay and if you are from core branch you will be asked very basic core related questions okay so please search in at uh, google from java point you will get various questions from for uh, core branches so please visit java point or interview bit you will get those okay and let's say you can be asked some uh uh, coding questions for AAAC role if you are being asked coding questions in interview then most probably you are being chosen as uh, AAAC role okay so please uh, if let's say you are asked count characters leaf year palindrome code then let's say string uh, temporary string so if you are asked this then at first let's start with the uh, lo uh, logic explain okay explain the logic then start writing the code in your compiler or let's say notepad okay so uh, if you are from csit the advanced question from sdlc can be asked so for higher package the higher expectation so prepare this accordingly what are the difference the different sdlc models and difference between the waterfall and agile models so basically uh, these are very basic questions for csit students so still if you have to know this okay yeah, and must be some weakness and strengths uh, please prepare these before your interview must okay and in the previous year let's say uh, on 2023 2022 the interviewer asking puzzle questions okay puzzle question means like you will be given some situation you have to give answer accordingly let's say you will be given a cake and you will have only three moves and within three moves you have to cut the cake into eight pieces so how will you do that so you will you will have to think a little then you have to give a proper logic about your answer okay so these are all i had to share with you for a technical part and for hr part you have to know this like can you briefly tell about yourself and strongest point weaknesses then uh, should we, why should we choose you and uh, let's say uh, team collaboration okay and let's say wh where do you see yourself in five years and do you have any questions for us so prepare these okay so i i'll share this pdf to you so please go through this join our telegram channel t.me slash and don't forget to subscribe this channel because this motivates me okay this count motivates me okay to make more content so i hope you did so actually this doesn't cost any rupee okay so please do that okay so thank you for today's session